Okay. After the electronics part, we are going to attach the wheels. I've already attached three of them, just for time purposes. But I'll show you how to attach the fourth one. And again, if you had any problems with the wiring up of your bot, feel free to shoot me a message. You can check out my Instagram. It's 355s underscore sparrow. And I'll put that in the link below, just in case anybody does have any problems, I can try my best to help you out. So, we're going to take this piece right here with these two screws. I'm going to loosen them. Okay. I'm going to slide it on this way onto the axle. Then we're going to tighten them all the way up. Okay. After that, we're going to take our wheel and put it on this way. Okay. And then we're going to take the other two screws and put them through this top two holes and screw them in. that we have the basic body style of our bot. Okay, so now we're going to attach our weapon after we have the body and we are going to start with this piece. You can either attach it first then add your pieces or you could just start with this and add your wedge. I'm going to start with this and add. Okay. This screw down with the piece facing inside. All right. Now, after we get the basic frame on there, we're going to move on and attach it. Alright, so this is my front. I got it from drive testing it. Right, so nice and tight. Okay, we have these. Now we're going to take our wedge. We're going to attach it right on there. Alright. We are going to use these screws to get it on. Okay. All right, 16 screws later, that's not going anywhere. That's, that's on there to stay. All right, so just letting you know, for the wedge, there is this little lip right here. I do recommend, if you are going to be battling with them, 
grind down right here, grind down right here, and smoothen out right here so it's sharp, and so that you can get under people as if you were like that, instead of having this lip right here and being like that, because going straight up like that is a huge difference than going straight up like that. All right, okay. And now, we will be adding on our final part, the top. There we go. Now, you have a battle bot. And then after this, if there's any other part that you might want to add, such as how I made a wheel guard that will attach right in the back just for those spinners or blades that whenever I'm facing them. I made it a polycarbonate, I bent it and it goes right around and it will be right here so it will be just like that all the way up to the way so nothing can get to my wheels unless I take this off which is just more protection just in case. Thank you for watching and check out the next video of me doing some test drives and possibly showing you what the bot can do. Thank you guys for watching. I want to give a huge shout out to Craig Danby. I will put his Instagram down below. He's the creator of Predator on BattleBots and Foxic on Robot Wars. Really nice guy. He helped me out throughout this whole process. Gave me a ton of pointers. And also check out my Instagram at 355s underscore sparrow. I'll put that down below and check out the rest of my videos.